So welcome everybody to the Virgo New Moon Distant Reiki Share. I'm so happy to be together with all of you on this Labor Day, the United States of America. It's Labor Day. So hopefully everybody's taking a break, taking a pause, taking a rest and in some way, shape, or form. And I'm really grateful to those of you who chose to be here live. And then everybody who is joining our circle later on, you are very much a part of our circle. So thank you for being here. I am available this month for one-on-one -on -one Reiki sessions and a variety of astrology readings. It's a wonderful time to get a reading as we enter eclipse season and can be really helpful to know more about how the eclipses are working with your chart if you need some assistance in really unpacking what is coming up for you. And I know that already the astrological energy as it is brings in people who are being very, very activated. So if you're feeling like, yeah, a lot is going on, a lot is happening, it might be a good time to get a reading. And if that's you, please definitely reach out. It would be my pleasure to assist you and connect with you at a deeper level. I'm super excited on September 21st. I'm teaching Astrology Basics with Reiki, and this class is on the 12 astrological houses, the four angles of the birth chart, as well as the 12 rising signs. So everybody is has a rising sign, so we'll be going into that and learning more about the houses and the angles. And the angles are such amazing sensitive points in the chart. The houses give so much context, so much additional information. So if you're wanting to dig in deeper into that and use Reiki as a support to really connect to your own sense of what are the houses to you, what are the angles to you, and also invite in balance. This is occurring around the time of the Libra equinox, so it'll be a wonderful time to tune in and connect with balance. So you can learn more about that on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com, as well as the Reiki 1 and 2 training that's coming up at the end of the month. It's in the Eclipse portal, so really another way to engage in self-care and invite in the higher frequencies of Reiki. It's a holy fire class, so holy fire is the energy and the system of tools and techniques that is taught. Really, really wonderful, comprehensive class. And on October 2nd, we will have our Libra New Moon Distant Reiki Share, which is the Libra Solar Eclipse. It's an annular solar eclipse. So definitely come to that and let's empower the higher frequencies of that eclipse together. I look forward to that. So details and more information about all of that on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. Okay, so looking into the first half of the month so leading into our our next lunation the full moon in pisces the lunar eclipse in pisces i talked about this in the new moon galactic astrology video that i shared but we had uranus stationing retrograde yesterday pluto re-entering capricorn yesterday as well and so these energies are really working with us. Planet Uranus, planet Pluto, what does that mean? Uranus waking us up, inviting change, inviting liberation, inviting us to mix things up. What's stale? What's stagnant? You know, let's innovate. Let's try new things. And Pluto saying yes to our next level of transformation, the unraveling that I talked about, I think in the Aquarius distance Reiki share, just like letting yourself unravel any kind of conditioning or programming that is still there that Uranus maybe is helping you become aware of and really letting that go once and for all. And it's not like, you know, you have to do that in one day or one week. 
Pluto is in in Capricorn, back in Capricorn for the next two and a half months. So we have some time to really integrate that and unpack that. And that even feels like that's that's going to be like a backdrop energy to this eclipse season. So even these eclipses helping us to do that more fully, do that work. And powerful stars that those two planets are aligned to as well with Uranus in alignment to Algol star, very connected to the powerful feminine energy, earth energy, mother nature, the intelligence and power of mother nature, our connection to the earth, our connection to life force and understanding invisible energy and our our connection to spirit which is so individual and personal and fully empowered you know algol is a star that knows that we are all equally powerful despite any apparent hierarchies of power or differences in power that we all have that same connection that equal connection to spirit to oneness to creation so helping us really step into that more fully again meeting us where we're at and taking us to our next level pluto with a lad far you know this is a star in lyra constellation lyra is the vulture and that whole constellation is very connected to our origin our galactic origins you know where does humanity come from what's our true history and letting go of some of those early traumas of humanity and early forms of humanity war polarity these kinds of themes like how can we really let those go and let ourselves fly free in this renewed sense of power So today is the new moon in Virgo. At the time of this Reiki share, we are still in the balsamic moon period. So it's not quite new yet. We're still kind of cooking in the last moon cycle. So today may especially feel like a good day to rest, take it easy. This is also highlighted by Mars in Gemini, square Neptune in Pisces. This can be kind of like a a lower energy day or a spiritual energy day, aligning our personal will, our personal motivation with higher will, Neptune, our spiritual guidance. And this can be like a very mentally activated, like intuitive downloads, messages as Mars is in Gemini and Neptune and Pisces, the stars involved too, that they are conjoining, Mars is conjoining, Betelgeuse and Polaris. These are stars of higher guidance, Polaris in particular, a star of our connection to our higher selves and our guides, our future most evolved selves, Betelgeuse, very concerned with success consciousness. What does that mean to you? And Skiot is a star, so Neptune's in alignment or has been for a long time with this star. Skiot and Pegasus, very connected to the unicorns, the winged horses, the flying horses, the galactic unicorns, beautiful energy, and really our prophetic knowing, you know, our ability to see way, way far out and way, way deep in as well to step outside of linear time and really be in that multidimensional presence of like all knowing and all seeing awareness, opposing the super galactic center, which really amplifies that even further and brings in this element of ancestral healing. And this is all combining with this new moon in Virgo, a time of new beginnings of healing of wellness. And you can review my video I did on the new moon to learn more about that. September 4th, Mars enters Cancer. This is a big energy change. Mars and Gemini has been very mental, has been very busy, has been, you know, doing a lot of things, thinking a lot of things. It's also brought in 
you know, unfortunately, more divisiveness and kind of, you know, charge to communication and conversation, it can also be, you know, heightened trigger ability within our mental bodies and within our communication. This is Mars and Gemini. So Mars entering Cancer, this is a lot quieter, softer, more intuitive. Cancer is a water sign. It's also the sign of the mother. So Mars, this masculine planet in this very feminine, motherly, nurturing, nourishing sign is very much concerned and motivated, focused on Mars, our emotional security, home, family, roots, ancestry, going within. This is a very psychic Mars as well, a very intuitive Mars. So very, very interesting to be in this energy and also know that this is the zodiac sign that Mars will be retrograding into later on this year. At the end of this year, Mars will station retrograde in Leo and retrograde back into Cancer. So we're getting, you know, Mars and Mars and Cancer and Leo is going to be kind of the rest of this year. So knowing that we are entering this, there's there's a need to focus in these life areas on the emotional body, on our sense of security. What does that mean? And also our connection to the earth, Cancer. Mercury square Uranus, this is occurring September 6th. So this can bring like good ideas, innovation, you know, release of any kind of mental programming, conditioning, limiting beliefs, thought forms that have been holding us back. And this will be the third time we've actually had this alignment because Mercury made this alignment as it was going direct the first time as it was retrograding, appearing to move backwards a second time, and now is making this alignment, this particular geometry, a third and final time. So we might have like a, a similar theme that we've been working on with regard to our awakening, innovation, new ideas, new communications, new thought forms, new mental habits that is really kind of clicking. You know, it's already been cooking. It's already been preparing. We've already been working with this and now it can be manifesting even more fully. Very powerful stars that are involved in this alignment. Mercury with Alphard star and Hydra constellation, very much to do with, again, feminine energy, Kundalini energy, soul mastery, spiritual mastery, ancient secrets, ancient wisdom, and Al Gol, this star also of deep feminine power, mother nature, mother earth. So this is extremely powerful and ultimately liberating. There's like gonna be space for new thought forms, new mental habits, moving forward. On September 7th, we have the sun opposite Saturn and the star involved with this is Atranar star. So this is like flow and alignment and it, it can be a pause, but it's a pause that is like a, a pause to get more in flow. Like sometimes to be in flow, we actually do need to pause and kind of reorient. So, and even seeing like the long-term vision, Saturn is concerned with what's sustainable, what's practical, what's actually part of the longer view, what's going to work, what, what ideas or what patterns have longevity and so we have this chance to become more aware of what that is, what is sustainable, what's not. This also offers in a dose of discernment, which Mercury re-entering Virgo on September 8th is also assisting us with. So help in navigating any kind of confusion, any kind of nebulousness. Mercury in Virgo is very detail-oriented, is very practical, very analytical, 
organize. So this transit is is very helpful for getting us organized, decluttered, cleaned out, cleared out, space made, and seeing things with more objectivity and what are the action steps? What are the, let's break it down into smaller bits that are actually actionable. Mercury and Virgo can help us do this. September 11th, we have Mercury, Sextile, Mars, and this is very helpful as well. So those new ideas, those action steps can be taken. We'll have the energy, we'll have like the mental energy and clarity, and then Mars helping us accomplish those actions. So really, really beautiful there. On the 12th, this is a, a big and beautiful, bold energy day. The same with the 14th. So really lovely. The sun is squaring Jupiter. Hard aspects to Jupiter are not necessarily bad. They're just big. You know, it just doesn't necessarily mean a challenge. Square is often thought to mean a challenge or tension. But this can really be a feeling of that larger than life energy and amplification of the Virgo and Gemini energy. So this is very mental energy, detail oriented. This can be really intuitive, stimulating, very healing as well. And even like creating the the new thought forms and the new habits and the new ways that we can be in greater alignment, be in greater flow. So definitely looking forward to that. Now on September 14th, it's like the the good feelings and maybe some of that optimism of Sun Square Jupiter September 12th. It's really amped up September 14th with Venus trine Jupiter. This is very sweet, very luscious. And this is a Venus in Libra trining Jupiter in Gemini. So again, very mental, creative ideas, new ideas and really just feeling that that sweetness, that love of life, that goodness. And yeah, it could be just lots of like, wonderful thoughts coming in wonderful connections, relationships, improved relationships, and conversations that make you feel good. And th this is lovely preparation for our September 17th, lunar eclipse, partial lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is occurring at 25 degrees, 47 minutes of Pisces at around 4.44 p.m., 4.45 p.m. Hawaii time, September 17th. So adjust to your local time zone and you can figure out when that is occurring for you, if you'll be able to see it, if it'll be nighttime. So maybe you'll be able to see the eclipse if you want to. This is a chart of the eclipse. It is so powerful. <laughs> I will do a video on it, but it's just like, it's so intriguing. And I know I was talking about it in the Virgo new moon video too because like we are so already in the eclipse portal like the portal is open i don't know about y'all but i'm feeling connected to the resonance of like the march april eclipse portal and then like we're entering in this new portal and this eclipse portal is connecting us forward into next year in really really powerful ways because it's our first eclipse in Pisces in something like nine years. So this is kicking off a whole next eclipse cycle. We've been having them in Aries Libra, and we're going to be having them in Pisces and in Virgo. So this is occurring because next year, January 11th, the north node of the moon moves into Pisces, the south node of the moon will be in Virgo. So this eclipse is giving us a look, a glimpse, a preview of like what that's going to be like. That's another big energy change. The nodes 
are in a sign for about a year and a half. And it's also a preview of the North Node here in the chart in Aries. This North Node will conjoin. So after it moves in, it moves backwards. The nodes always move backwards. After it moves into Pisces, it will conjoin Neptune next year, February 28th. I was looking at that date because I think I probably want to teach a class on it. That's going to be a really, really powerful time of spiritual guidance and healing and cleansing, purification, connection, channeling. So, and okay, to really even develop this further, we're getting this preview just by it being in Pisces, but the stars that are involved are also very powerful and very much in resonance with that that prophetic knowing. So our moon is with Neptune that already has that prophetic spiritual connection, seeing into the future, into the past, into the parallel, anywhere you want to see, anywhere you want a vision. The moon in alignment with one of these stars of Pegasus, Markov, very connected to stability as well as knowledge and learning and the sun making a conjunction here. So in this chart, it's here in Virgo, 2541 Virgo is conjoining a galaxy, another galaxy. So it's making an alignment with the whirlpool galaxy, which I have a, a photo of here. And it is part of this constellation in the sky. This is Boots constellation and then Canis Venatici, the two dogs. It is part of this. It's like kind of hard to tell in this diagram, but I put it in here. It's like part of the leash of the dogs. So it's, it kind of looks like it's in the upraised hand, but it is, yeah, just... I mean, think about what a whirlpool is. It, it has that feeling almost like the super galactic center, galactic center, these black holes, these big spiral, sacred spiral galaxies. And with Neptune involved, it's like the letting go. Also, it being a lunar eclipse is a big full moon. That's already a time of big letting go. It's a lunar eclipse, so even bigger letting go. Pisces letting go. Conjunct Neptune letting go. Whirlpool galaxy letting go. Pluto back in Capricorn, we're letting go of old. So this is just like so supportive of our letting go, of our purification, of our release so that we are completely clear, cleansed, light, and free, and like ready to move into the new beginnings that are that are here, but also coming and also unfolding. And yeah, like really just seeing into other dimensions, other experiences. And I think a lot of this message here is our Ability to be stable and in flow at the same time. This paradox that really Saturn in Pisces has been teaching us, but has this, this message with regard to this eclipse in particular, this star Markov having to do with stability and the flow of Saturn in alignment with Atronar of the zodiac sign Pisces in general of Neptune's signification and even, you know, thinking about a whirlpool that is water inflow in a vortex. So yeah, I think that's all I'll say about it, but we'll, I'll go into it deeper in a video upcoming. And then even beyond that, you know, in the spirit of all this prophetic knowing and seeing like what's next and in September, September, it's like the, the front half of the month is a little softer, is a little bit more preparatory. The back half of the month is really where more the action is. September 17th, we have that lunar eclipse. Then shortly after on the 22nd, we have Libra equinox, the sun enters Libra. 
And this time of year, it's always Libra Equinox has this alignment with the super galactic center, one of these super massive black holes, forces of creation, forces of ancestral healing, of powerful realignment in our relationships, powerful realignment in terms of our ourselves, you know, our identities and finding balance in who I am, more of that Aries and sun energy and how I am meeting others in the world, more of that Libra energy. So finding that balance, that balance of light and dark. And Libra is great at seeing both sides of an issue, viewing things with fairness, with balance, with justice and Hopefully, you know, what it seems like we're moving more towards is not just seeing things polarized or dualistically, but being able to see the unification, the totality, seeing things more holistically. And it seems like we get every equinox, maybe another opportunity to step in more of that, that different perspective that is that is non-dual essentially and and non-polarized more holistic more unified i don't even have the right words for it <laughs> but uh that's kind of speaking to maybe the the energy of it seeing like the yin yang right there's the dark and the light and really this whole back half of the month feels like and even moving into October, moving into Libra season, there's this frequency of balance. On the 22nd, also Venus enters Scorpio. So we have the Shapley attractor being activated by Venus, another one of these very, very powerful parts of creation, creating galaxies, creating the known universe. This is the origin of the known universe, Shapley. So, so much intuitive connection, divine messages, being at the right place at the right time with the right people and being in the flow. This is like the cosmic flow, the flow in the sense of the black hole flow, which is interconnected to everything and aware of that interconnection. On the 25th, we have Mercury entering Libra, so really helping us have that balanced mental alignment, the sun conjoining Mercury or Mercury rather conjoining the sun on September 30th at eight degrees, 11 minutes of Libra. This is again highlighting all of those themes of balance very strongly. And then we have our solar eclipse on the second at 10 degrees and two minutes of Libra, making conjunctions to two stars in Virgo constellation, Parima and Vindamiatrix, with which are both also connected to prophecy, knowledge, learning, occult gifts mastery, intuitive connection. And again, I'll do a video on this solar eclipse, but I just wanted to mention that it's not just this Pisces eclipse that it has is connected to that sense of vision. It's also this Libra eclipse and, you know, really having this purification of the mental body and the new thought forms, the new paradigms, the innovations, the having the mental space and the bandwidth to really be in this creator energy, which our journey <laughs> is feeling like it's it's gonna be focusing on that being an empowered creator energy. You are the creator of your reality, the co-creator of your reality. So as we let go, as we make space, it's also that we can we can really be in this empowered creative 
energy. And this seems to be much of what this particular, now we're going back in time to the present moment, right? This Virgo new moon is all about helping us drop any barriers to that, to our empowerment, those that have been carried on and inherited through our ancestry, through our lineages, through the conditioning, the programming, and so on, and really feeling very empowered here. The planets that are that have been really standing out, and I know I've been thinking about them a lot these past days. I've been thinking about Pluto a lot. I go in cycles with Pluto. There are times I'm not thinking about Pluto that much, and then lately it's like I've been thinking about Pluto a lot. <laughs> And so Pluto is very alive in our collective unconscious. Certainly Uranus is as well. And feeling Jupiter's presence in, in the collective consciousness as Jupiter is in the square, this powerful square alignment with this new moon, the sun and moon also being very much a part of this new moon, obviously. <laughs> That's what is making it a new moon here. So you know, I was feeling like, what is this journey going to be be about? And I was like, oh, Zosma star, we'll go to Zosma and explore that. And I was like, no, like Jupiter, we need to explore and commune with Jupiter. It's like, oh, but Uranus, we need to explore and commune with Uranus. Oh, Pluto, we really need to commune with Pluto. It's like, we're going to do it all. <laughs> we're going to do it all at the same time and, and really invite in our our multi-dimensional ability to do that so i'm not sure how that's going to happen but that's kind of uh where we're going here now as we we transition into our our reiki journey portion so i'll stop my share now close your eyes and take some deep breaths Turn your awareness inward. Focus your attention on your breath breathing in your body, your heart beating in your body, your beautiful human body made of the earth, made of the heavens, unifying heaven and earth in your breath, in your heartbeat, your heart beating in resonance with the power of love as you open your heart and receive the light of Reiki, filling your breath, filling your body, filling your heart, with this power of love. The power of love awakens within every cell of your body, every tissue, an organ, an organ system. Reiki flows in, empowering your physical health, your physical healing, Nurturing and nourishing your physical body, your bones and blood, all the matter and substance of you, your physicality, your connection to this earth. Open your heart and receive the light of the earth. The love of the earth envelops you flowing into the back of your body and your feet chakras, flowing into all of your chakras and meridians, this power and love of the earth, and your connection to the stars, your connection to the sun and the moon, activating, awakening, and your intuition, as the light of your divine mind opens, opening your awareness, higher awareness, sacred awareness, your knowingness, 
your gut brain and heart brain, your physical brain all awake, your intuition and instincts all awake, your imagination opens and your perception expands. The colors and frequencies of your mental body entrained to the divine frequencies of the higher heavens of consciousness, love and peace and grace and unity, bliss, stability and flow. As new neural pathways form, new mental connections form. And any thought forms, beliefs, and attitudes that no longer serve your highest good simply lift into the light. Lift into the light of the divine mind where they're purified and you are infused with the brilliance of your all-knowing soul and pure spirit the purity and intelligence of your heart rises and permeates your mental body. You receive the light of clarity, the light of purity, the light and calm of a peaceful, tranquil mind. your heart light shines in all directions above you, below you, within you on all sides of you you shine like a brilliant diamond in the sun receiving and refracting all the colors of the rainbow and colors beyond the rainbow The song of your soul and spirit is here. The song of your heart. As the choirs of angels and archangels surround you. The beings of the light are here. The brothers and sisters of the light are here. Enlightened star beings are here. Your guides your sacred ones and beloved ones are all here supporting you and cheering for you, shining their light into your light. And you light up like the sun that you are, your pure solar essence, alive, vital, radiant, the light of the holy fire is here enveloping you, gently burning away anything with or without form, with or without consciousness that no longer serves your highest good. For it is your birthright to be free, to be liberated, to be fully empowered in your authenticity your royal and regal heart of gold, and all of your colors, all of your songs, all of your knowingness and power of love, any spirit entities or attachments, limiting beliefs, thought forms, attitudes, any conditioning, programming, stories that no longer serve your highest good, polarity or duality within your mental body that's ready to be released, any wounds or injuries from this lifetime or other lifetimes, simply lift into the light of the holy fire, the pure light of the sun, and the pure light of all the stars the pure light of all your stars, the stars that you uniquely are connected to, 
the stars that make you, you, at the fabric and core of your being. These stars shine within you and all around you, infusing you with the truth of who you are in your purity, in your clarity, in your power, in your color and your song, your pure soul and heart and spirit, all awakened and revealed and empowered. Imagine now there is a beautiful bridge of light. You can hear the angels singing and enlightened ones singing. And the frequencies of Karuna are here. Zonar, Halu, Hearth, Rama. Nosa, Iyava, Shanti, Kriya. The light of compassion awakens within your soul, within your spirit, and guides you over the bridge of light where you cross through each of the colors with every step that you take. And with every step that you take, each of your chakras is replenished, refreshed, and brought into perfect balance. Your feet chakras, and below your feet, your earth star chakra, flowing into your root chakra, and your sacral chakra, the colors red and orange, beautifully balanced within you, the color yellow in your solar plexus chakra, your power center, the color green in your heart chakra, expanding in unconditional pure love, your throat chakra and the color blue, so pure, sky-like, brilliant, and the cobalt blue, clear, empowered. And your third eye chakra receiving the light of Reiki, the color indigo, The purity of Virgo, zodiac sign expressing here. Your third eye, the higher frequencies of Virgo. All awakening within your pineal gland. The healing frequencies of Virgo decalcifying the pineal gland. Bathing the pineal gland, in nourishing fluids, nourishing light, revitalizing your inner vision, your inner truth, your clear seeing, your inability to be fooled by anyone or anything any falsity, any illusion, any deception, any lie. You are immune to all of them. And these are released from you. Any that you've taken as true are released from you and for you into the light by the authority of love, grace, and compassion for you are Sovereign in your mental body. Sovereign in your clear seeing, your clear knowing, your intuition. Sovereign in your mind. All the parts and all the workings of your mind. Light of Reiki flows into your crown chakra, activating the color violet. And all the gradient shades between the colors are activated and alive within you. 
gold and silver, the metallic tones, jewel tones, magenta and turquoise, lime green, copper, platinum, crystalline light and diamond light frequencies as your higher chakras come online and are awakened and revealed and perfectly balanced your soul star chakra above your head, your galactic chakra, solar and lunar chakras, your universal and multiversal chakras all awaken, all empowered, receiving the higher frequencies of cosmic light, photonic light, your antenna purified, and you receiving what you need to receive and the filter of Reiki light powerfully around you, filtering out anything that is not in alignment with your highest good. With such ease and effortlessness, there is no doing on your part. There is simply being in this light, your light, a Reiki light. So as you enter the higher heavens of consciousness, you cross over the bridge of light. The river of life is here, the starry river Atronar, Eridanus, the light of thousands of stars, the field of all possibilities, filled with flowers and butterflies, the song of birds and angels, all the animals surround the tree of life. This is the third heaven of consciousness, non-dual realm, non-polarized, completely enlightened, where all the beings here are enlightened beings of love, and you here are enlightened being of love, connected fully to the purity of your soul and spirit, awakening, full soul consciousness, your multidimensionality. So breathe in now and receive the flower of healing, the one consciousness, the singularity, as the planets and stars wish to be here fully, wish to support you and commune with you, helping you expand more into your multidimensional self. As you find yourself in an orb of pure light rising into the higher heavens of consciousness now, the infinite heavens, you commune with the moon and the sun, together in the zodiac sign of Virgo. This beautiful star, Zosma and Leo constellation, bringing you the gift of your pure creative life force energy, your creative power, and moving you beyond any stories of disempowerment disenfranchisement and separation from the truth that you are a divine creator being in this lifetime as a human being on earth. You're fully empowered and connected to the creative force. You are an empowered co-creator of your life, of humanity, and of the earth. So allow your consciousness now to expand. Expand into the sun and moon and this beautiful star Zosma. And if you feel called to do so, you can write about anything that you're ready to let go of. It no longer serves your highest good. Simply be in the energy, receiving and releasing effortlessly.
Zazma Star offers you the gift and miracle of the great perfection, sublime oneness, the experience of samadhi that occurs when you consciously choose to be free of nonsense and even the nonsense that appears sensible. The sky-like mind and pure presence of the ancient yogic masters, the teachers of the great mystery schools of the earth and the galactic, all supporting you in this experience of supreme bliss, oneness, unity, unfathomability. So the planet Jupiter is present, appearing before you to help expand the sense of supreme bliss, sublime union, oneness, clarity, purity, offering you this sense of expansion, hope, infinite possibility and assisting you with this alignment to a variety of powerful stars. Jupiter guides you to the stars of Orion, Orion constellation, God in the sky the star Regal, the star of protection, star Bellatrix, a feminine warriorship, feminine success, consciousness, when inner work is accepted and engaged in. Jupiter guides you into the frequencies of Nihal star and Lepus the rabbit, and Capella star, and Auriga, the shepherd holding the baby goat, the star of adventure. So you allow yourself to sensitize into the gifts and blessings of each of these stars. So powerful, so loving, all-knowing, communicating to you the simplicity of the earth, the remembrance of the ancient Mayans of the earth, the indigenous of South America, galactic civilizations that lived simply and peacefully and still live simply and peacefully, of the softness and curiosity of the rabbit, the Christ consciousness of this gentle Nihal star, that knows the mysteries of death, resurrection, and particularly ascension. The Orion light beings, the enlightened ones of Orion who transcended duality, polarity, and war far worse than anything we've experienced on earth. They shine their light into your light, help you remember that you are free, clear, and pure. You are ready to move beyond into a more integrated consciousness. So take some time now and receive. You can write about 
what you'd like to bring in and receive and empower this moon cycle. Simply be in this energy with an open heart and open mind. You rise now effortlessly into even higher heavens of consciousness where the outer planets are supporting you fully, each of them guardians of your initiation of this eclipse season, of the weeks and months to come are all here and supporting you, loving you, waking up the higher frequencies of Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto within you, waking up your inner authority, your divine flow, Saturn with Achernar star, the song of your soul. Waking up your inner innovator, Uranus. Supporting your nervous system as your kundalini awakens and rises and flows through the channels of your body. You are prepared for your next level. Your next level is here. Neptune and Pisces, here supporting you, loving you enveloping you in divine love like a gentle, snuggly blanket 
so soft and comfortable. A blanket of light and a blanket of stars. Magical cape with Neptune and Pisces. You are the magician. You are the magical co-creator of your reality. The awakening of your soul and spirit becomes more and more conscious. And Pluto and Aquarius, the galactic birds are here and present. Pluto blessing you and christening you that at this next level and stage of your transformation. There is nothing to fear with Pluto. You've already been through so much and come such a long way that there is an acknowledgement of this, your strength, your empowerment, your willingness to adapt and grow, to evolve and change, to let die that which needs to die and be reborn and spread your wings and fly each time lighter, each time freer, clearer, more empowered, more loving, more compassionate, more knowing. So breathe in now and receive the support and love of all the planets, Venus as well, enveloping you in sweetness, gently opening the Libra solar eclipse portal that is to come. Love, beauty, balance, grace, ease, and flow all here streaming through you. So take a moment, reflect upon the intention you'd like to set for this moon cycle for this beginning of eclipse season. Allow your consciousness to be receptive to this intention beyond the Reiki journey as well.
And planets slowly guide you back into the lower heavens of consciousness, back into the 11th and 10th, the 9th, the 8th, 7th and 6th, down through the 5th and 4th heaven, re-entering the 3rd heaven of consciousness where you're able to touch down and ground. The orb of pure light opens all around you, dissolving into pure consciousness. You shimmer and shine in the light of your soul and spirit, all the colors of the rainbow, your multidimensional self. You take with you a compass and a map, knowing where you're going, your direction, having the support of all your guides, your vast spiritual support team, the guidance of your higher self, your authentic self, embodied within you speaking through you and to you, communing with you. You take this loving awareness, this strength back with you over the bridge of light. Your clear seeing, your clear vision, your intuition, your intellect, imagination, your discernment, as you re-enter the first heaven of earth and know that you are prepared for a beautiful eclipse season ahead and even what is beyond this eclipse season, you are prepared, you are ready, replenished, recharged, refreshed, and ready for the infinite possibilities to come. So bring your awareness back into your physical body and say thank you to you for saying yes to your healing, your empowerment. We say thank you to our divinely ordered circle. We are so grateful to be gathered together, all who are present live, and all who listen later, thank you. We are here supporting one another as we evolve the consciousness of humanity, contribute to well-being for all life on earth, peace on earth. Know that what we are doing and all we are being, this light we are bringing to earth, radiates and shines and contributes to light everywhere throughout the solar system, the galaxy, and beyond. We say thank you to all that assists us, the ancestors, the ones who came before, the descendants and ascendants, the ones who come after. We are so very grateful to be a part of this lineage, a part of this multi-dimensional circle of light and love, pure consciousness. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is, mahalo.